Okay. okay let's also just change uh, stream info since we are switching games Eric plays to beat Earthbound category the aforementioned Earthbound tags retro is good Nintendo's good the rest of the, the other three ready to the game or not um, so this is a SNES game. We'll do SNES. Uh, series of Earth we'll put that in. And then we'll put in ch -ch 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 first playthrough. And let's share on Twitter. Switching to Earthbound now. I'll also share that in my Discord. And then we turn off the previous command just like we did yesterday because this is a game we have not played on stream before. So there is no previous streams of this game. Earthbound Super Nintendo. Released 1995. Players 1. Nintendo. Ape. Halkin. I think my TV's okay. Earthbound, the war against Kigos. Which is Geig from the first one. I don't know why they had his name so different. And this is definitely an interesting opening. Earthbound. Nice, nice. I was gonna say press start, no. Oh, it has credits here when you first start it up. Well, that's interesting. <coughs> <coughs> or just the produced by, I guess. It's definitely an interesting um, opening up. Opening. It seems a bit spoilery, if you know. It shows you like you know you're all gonna have in your party, which I mean I already know because of if nothing else from Smash Brothers. <laughs> I don't remember the characters' names other than Ness. I guess one of the characters' names is Pooh. Presented by Nintendo. Okay. Start new game. Tech speed fast. Sound setting stereo. What style of... Plain, mint, strawberry, banana, peanut. I'm cool, thanks. 
Let's go with plain flavor. Please name him. Actually, wait, what happens if I go don't care? Okay. Then it goes the default name. Okay, so, okay, we'll go with Ness. Name her too. Don't care, Paula. Okay. This was actually good that I went with don't care, Jeff. That's his name. Name another friend. Don't care, Poo. <laughs> yep. Name your pet. Don't care. King. Okay, cool. Favorite homemade food. Don't care. Steak. Okay. What's your favorite thing? Rockin'? Okay. Are you sure? Yep. I get that it has don't care as the option for selecting from choosing the default <laughs> the year is 1990x such a weird year 1990x onet a small town in eagle land So much more cinematic than uh, Earthbound Beginnings. The power of the Super Nintendo at work. Ness's house. Sleeping through that. Let's see. Goods. We have an ATM card. Also, already this looks like a larger inventory than in past game, but I'll just. It's hard to say for certain. Okay, we have nothing equipped. Understandably. Status. Level 1. Um, offense, defense, speed, guts, vitality, IQ, and luck are all at 2. Hit points, 30 to 30. Psychic points, 10 out of 10. Experience points, 0. 4 for next level. Press the A button for sign info. Offense, recover, assist, other. We got nothing. Okay. Alright, this is a Super Nintendo game, so this is also... Okay, not quite sure what that's... Yeah, that's who are you talking to. Okay, no problem is here. So this is... L is for checking stuff. Rather than having to go into the menu. X and Y don't seem to do anything. Lights come on. Hey bro, did the sound wake you up? Were you freaked out? Let's open the present. There was a cracked bat inside. Ness takes it. Interesting. If I recall correctly, in, yeah, in Earthbound Beginnings, when you equip something, it's no longer in your inventory. So that's a change from that one. What was that noise? Ness, you don't seem scared. Are you nuts? You want to go check it out? Oh, okay. You'll sneak out of your room anyway. You know, I ask you not to. At least change your bags before you go. wondering 
No, there doesn't seem to be a quick way to talk. Besides humans, dogs also sleep at night. Why aren't you asleep? Good question. Let me check the mail. South of the suburbs of Omat. Doesn't seem to be a run button in this game. You hear the big bang? I think I'm here right, land nearby. I want to be the first to see it, okay? I'm gonna be the first to get there. Who's this dude? Seems suspicious. I want to return home, but the road is closed. People are taking this meteorite situation too seriously. Now, police are infamous for closing roads if something is going along. We are going for the world record. <laughs> Don't panic. It's just a what meteorite? What that? Who fell? I just wanna what? Wait. Don't panic. I just wanna what? Go home. Okay. Oh hi, Pokey. My brother ran out of here to chase after a police car. He said, "Picky, you should stay home." So I'm watching our house. Mom and dad aren't home yet. They went out to an elegant restaurant. Okay, I'll just casually uh, search your house for anything to steal while they're out. And there's nothing to steal. There's two beds. There's two brothers and parents. Do the brothers share a bed, or does one of them sleep on the couch? There are two couches, so, I mean, they have options. Okay, we can go behind the houses, but there's not much to do back there. So, the only way forward is down here, it seems. You know what time it is? Get your butt home pronto. You're at his line. The sharks are running wild in town. You kids are wandering around and I'm hungry. I hate my job. Well, you can always stop being a cop. Better for everyone. It's dangerous to go to the hilltop. Even if I advise you not to go, it won't stop you, will it? Uh, ooh, there's a gift up there. And hey, don't you know what time it is? Yes, night time. Perfect time to explore. I meant to check. Ooh, bread roll. Mm, bread roll. I guess we go up here because there's nowhere else we can go. Treasure hunter. This is Liar X. Agarit's house. Hey Ness. Hi buddy. I mean you're right. I fell down and went boom. It was a real mess for a while. It's fine because I always eat garlic and work out to help make my body stronger. However, the weaker citizens probably fainted. I want to tell you. Whoops. I almost told you about my... Uh, by the way, Ness, did you check my billboard? I wrote the message myself. That's my real job, you know. I'm a billboard guy. Did you check my work? Okay. Well, there's a meteorite. Yeah, it looks different than usual. It's strange and marvelous as well as mysterious. Ooh. Shh, shh. Nice timing, Ness. Will you do something about Pokey? He's driving me nuts. Are you two friends? Yes. Live in the house next to us. I see. Nice timing, Ness. Will you do something about Pokey? He's driving me nuts. Are you two friends? No. We're not friends, but aren't you neighbors? Come on, help me out here. Clear, get out of my way. Clear, get out of my way. Oops, my mistake. And get out of my way. Hey, Ness. Don't be a rubber necking. You're getting in the cops. Oops. I mean, officer's ways. Wait. You can go home now. Tomorrow I, Pokey, will tell you more about the strange meteorite. I'm fine here, but you're bugging the officers. Hmm. Uh, 
go home now, yeah. I don't seem to... I guess that's all I can do is go home. Okay. Don't see any other options, so... Return home, I will. This is the right path, right? Yeah, this is where I came from. Welcome home, ass. It's not us area to talk about tonight. It's late. Let's get off to bed now. Yes. Okay. Later that night. Someone's knocking at the door. What an annoying knock. My land. Who could be knocking at the door this time of night? Would you answer it? Does the dog say anything? The oh, flea's sucking me dry, so I'm just gonna lie still for now. Okay. Pokey. Hey, we'll listen to what I've got to say. When I took Picky to the place where the meteorite landed... Oh, good evening, ma'am. You're looking lovely as usual, Snicker. Anyway, as I was saying, the police that were guarding the meteorite landing left suddenly to deal with the sharks. You know, the sharks are the local ruffians. They were <coughs> really going wild. Suddenly I noticed that Picky was gone. Blame the cops. It certainly wasn't my fault at all. When my dad gets back, I know I'm going to get it. You're my bestest friend. Won't you help me find Picky? Yes. Oh, good buddy. Let's blow this popsicle stand. Before we go, why don't you say goodbye to your mom? Don't you agree, ma'am? No, the dog is unreliable. You should take him along. Crack bat in Tracy's room could help out at a time like this. My writing says you're a courageous, strong boy. I'm a very own natural born fighter. You'll go far. Remember to go for it. But I think you should change all your jammies before you leave. <laughs> Do everything I can to help you. Good luck on your adventure. You make it hungry along the way. So here, here's a cookie. Hey, cookie. Nice got the cookie. Let's leave anything you don't need with me. Do you want to me to hang on something? Uh, not right now. Be careful. Yeah, sure. You're cool. Whatever. Do you want me to go with you? Yes. I guess I have no choice. Let's go. King joins you. Alright. You go in front and I'll fall at a safe distance. Let's get going. Pokey joins you. That's Astro the phone. Hello, it's your dad. Worked to exhaustion when you were young. Have you ever heard of a word saying like this? Just remember, I'm always behind you 100%. Don't be afraid. Know that you're brave. You can do it. Don't forget to call me periodically during your adventure. I can make a record of your progress when you call me. Oh, yeah, I deposit $30 into your bank account. Get your ATM card, withdraw your money from any cash machine, and buy whatever you need. Good luck, my boy. Feel like such a hero. What? Well, the father of a hero, at least. Wahaha. <laughs> Slam. Beep. Ah, this is a battle. Okay. You engage the runaway dog. Oh, good. It's auto fight defense. Runaway dog, you six damage to me. King Growl, yeah. Pokey apologized profusely. I win. Escape for experience points less uh, two offense went up by one, max HP by one. Max PP by two. Nash realized the power of life up alpha. Two. 
to one of us. There's 100 HP to one person. Oh, that's actually a decent amount. Okay, so the battles in this game... It's like I said, my dad isn't home yet. You gotta bring Picky back before he comes home. Try to help you a little. So, the random... So it's not random battles in here, it seems. The enemies are on the overworld, so we can, in theory, avoid them or fight them, depending on what we want to be doing. I like that. Okay, just Spiteful Crow. It's a big grin on his face. Yeah. Your eye, eight damage to Nest. You won. Ooh, cookie. Um, cookie. Mm -hmm. Nest ate the cookie, or covered six HP. It'd be nice if they actually said what they did. Or at least the um, side say what they do, which is nice, because that was something we had to look up in the previous game. Nine damage. Still a cookie. No. Do I get my cookie back? Okay, I got my cookie back. Or a new cookie to replace it. One of the two. I lost a cookie and I got a cookie. That's... So I'm still at... Same amount of cookies. And that's the important thing. Ness is at 17 hit points. We're going to use a cookie. Use our other cookie. Ness recovered 6 HP. Oh, it tells me 6 HP. I don't need to do the math. A snake. A coil snake. Two for the next level, okay, so this battle will probably Yes. Offense up by two, vitality one, IQ went up by one. Max HP by 14, max PP went up by 3. So. This Pokey's not really being any use here. Too busy to investigate by her a child's voice on the hilltop. Z man, but when I do a job, I do it well. I'm a man's man. Hmm. We 
Oof, I knew this was going to be such a scary place. We're going to come along. I'm out of here. Caution, there are still lots of fires burning here in it's hot. Wah! Oh, you woke me up. Pokey, I've been looking over, all over for you. See, Pokey got scared and ran away. I'm glad that you're okay, at least. Let's go home now. No one would ever worry sick about us. Gee, sometimes I wonder which one of this is the real big brother. Pokey joins you. Ness, do you hear buzzing that sounds like a bee flying around you? No? Come on, you must hear it. Oh, now I hear it. A bee I am. Not. I'm from ten years in the future. And in the future, all is devastation. Guy guess the... Universal Cosmic Destroyer sent all to the horror of eternal darkness. GameCube game? That will be about ten years in the future. <laughs> however, you must listen. I mean, release date wise. Uh, however, you must listen. Where I am from, there's a well known legend that has been handed down from ancient times. It says when the chosen boy reaches the point, he will find the light. The passing of time will shatter the nightmare rock. And will reveal the path of light. You see, it is my opinion that you are that boy, Ness. This I believe. Gygus's monstrous plan must have been set in motion somewhere on Earth. If you start to confront the enemy immediately, you may have time to counter the evil intentions, Gygus. Three things are of utmost importance wisdom, courage, and friendship. That's what we need to do with the Triforce. Replace the Triforce of power with a triforce of friendship. Legends from the ancient times tell of three boys and a girl who defeat Gygus. I'll tell you more later. Go now, and do not be anxious about the future. You have much work to do, Ness. Just do what I told you? Yes. Thank you for listening to my long story. You are as exceptional as I expected you to be. Buzz Buzz now joins you. Ness, looks like you're really in a lot of trouble this time. Three boys said, uh-huh. I'm one of those three, am I? Because I'm not into this kind of thing at all. Jeez, my heart is almost pounding right out of my chest. Do you say anything different right now? Can I tell you? And only you. Can you come visit me later alone? Okay. I suppose. Uh, maybe. Assuming I lose these guys at some point, which I'm assuming I do, considering these are not the main party members I'm familiar with. I'm familiar with um, Pokey being a character because of Smash Brothers. Buzz Buzz I'm not really at all familiar with. It's been a long time, Buzz Buzz. Successful of foiling Master Gygus's plans, but Buzz Buzz... You must now surrender. You're no longer a hero, but just a useless insect. I'll stomp you hard. Starman Jr. blocked the way. Okay. Bash. Body was protected by the psychic shield. Pokey's body is protected by the psychic shield. Picky's body is protected. Okay. Picky. Yes, eight damage. Tried Sci Fire. Beta. Okay. Excellent. Shield. In the 
Mass and Picky aren't really doing much. Buzz Buzz is doing... Oh, there we go. Most of the damage. Let's gain 16 EXP. Nice. Ooh, I was taking a big chance there. You have room 10 years in the future to kill me, so we can't relax yet. <coughs> For now, I'll be fighting enemies by... I guess as well as humans who have evil thoughts. <coughs> We'll definitely make trouble during your adventure. Animals are also becoming violent due to Gygus's influence over the evil in their minds. It is the truth, so listen. Hey, Ness, are you just gonna wander around wherever you please? Do you think we should focus on getting Picky home? Okay. Now let's get you boys home. Around the same hell have you boys been to think of a suitable punishment? I'm sorry that my kids trolled you so much. Both of you are really going to get it now. Well, it was mostly Pokey's fault, so be nice to Picky. Boy, I'd be happy if you left sometime soon. I'm tired of your family living next door. You've loaned your father a lot of money. It may have been a hundred thousand dollars or more. I guess it really could have been less. Because of the loan, my family and I are not now live in poverty. As in is much too lean with the children. Well, nice guys finish last. That's the story of our life. I I think it's a dung beetle. I'll smash your guts out. Earthbound, yes, Earthbound. Just started on it. After beating Earthbound Beginnings. Ah, gasp, I was much weaker than I thought. So you must now begin your adventure. See you. Well, I just remembered. Some of my final words. How's it, doing? How's it going, games, ideas, maker? Because I guess your own power must unite with the Earth's. The earth will then channel your power and multiply it. There are eight points that you must visit. Make these places your own. Each of these locations is your sanctuary. One of them is near Onet. It is called Giant Step. Go there first. Do you understand? Yes. All right. You're a very intelligent young man. And, oh, the pain. Everything is getting dark. Er, gasp. Right pass on, I want to give you something. The soundstone. You can record the melodies from the eight your sanctuary locations into this stone. It's an awesome item. By the way, I'm almost gone. Do you want to hear the story one more time? I don't know. Good. It's already dawn outside, but it doesn't matter to me. I'm fading fast. Ari, gasp. That's got the soundstone. So he's very soft hearted. Is he now? Sigh, I'm so tired. Nag, nag, nag. I really got after me. He said I get no dessert for the rest of the decade. I don't want to look at the meteorite anymore. Well, that's why we brought you back. Home. Okay. Hey, it's daytime. Picture taken instantaneously. Photographic genius, if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready? Say fuzzy pickles. Fuzzy pickles! Oh, what a great photograph. It'll always bring back the fondest of memories. You're back. Don't bother yourself. Elf was talking now. You look tired. Those understand these things. Eat some steak and scoot up to bed. I mean, I'm not gonna say no to steak. That should have fully healed me, I assume. Yep. 
Good morning, sleepy bones. Are you ready to start your adventure? So proud of you. My little man is growing up too fast. Call dad. Nasa, to your dad. Well, the 46 in your bank account. Taking away what you spent, you should now have 76 in the bank. Well, if you get the next level, NAS 5, you need a uh, record. All done. Your old dad was also thinking about hitting the hay for the night. I've created a record of your adventure to this point. Good night. Uh, sleep tight. Continue. I actually like to work hard, just like your mother, but I don't think it's good to work too hard. Click. Beep, beep, beep. Okay. We have saved. And now we can continue. Actually, mm, I should head back. I'm going to head back to the meteorite location now that it's daytime. Because also because that guy wanted to talk to me when I was alone. So we want to do that. Go talk to him now that we are alone. After we return the brothers home and their mother killed our friend Buzz Buzz. More damage. Another four damage. Hey, level four. Oh, baby. Offense went up by four. Defense by two. Speed by two. Cuts went up by three. Luck went up by two. Max HP by three. Realize the power of Hypnosis Alpha. Status. Puts one enemy to sleep. I like that it... Yeah, I can actually look what they do in this game. I also like that the... It's not like random battles. They're actually like on the overworld. So I can actually see... And potentially avoid... Like, obviously, like, in this place, it's fairly narrow, so, like, actually avoiding, like, if I go like this, mm. Okay, and if they get me from behind, they get an opening attack on me. Interesting. I'm glad to have discovered that now against an easy enemy, rather than learning that later against something more difficult. You want to talk to me about something? At least because I trust you. First, let's go to the basement. I can tell by the look on your face you don't want to hang out, do you? It's all right. After all, we are not even related. You think I'm a big liar, but maybe I'll surprise you. This is seeming very creepy. I hope you're not just bringing me somewhere to kill me. So that's why I found a proof of a great treasure, a huge hole. Ha ha, yeah ha ha. I'll show you, but you're the only one. Come on. Well, it's actually going strangely. Sign what lies below is need a little time. My decision is to find dig up the buried trader. Leave garlic and work out to help strengthen myself. Go home now. You're getting in the way of my work. You may start to get greedy thoughts. Okay. So I'll check up on this later, I guess. Weird if you ask me, but. I 
Also, that is a lot of digging he's been doing. Depending on how... I mean, if he's dialed that whole thing. So I guess if it was like some of it was already... There was already a cave system and he's just dug to the cave system, it might not be as ridiculous. Caution, still lots of fires right here and there. It's hot, okay. So that doesn't really... Sad this game doesn't have a run button like um, our phone beginnings did. At least, not if, or if it does, I have missed it. Well, I think in the opening cutscene, like the opening, like, yeah, we saw. Okay, so after after a battle, I'd have temporary invincibility. Interesting. Anyway, so uh, I was saying, so I'm just riding a bicycle, so that might be like something we'll get later. As, Faster mode of travel. Add a butterfly made nest relax. Does that heal me? Thirty-two out of forty-eight. Might have healed me something, I don't remember what I was at. And heal me fully. I'll have to look into that at some point, maybe. I'm curious what that did. I'm also curious about that uh, house there that I seemingly cannot reach. Go down this way and see what we've got. Mm -hmm. A sign. When at public library, use the library more. I mean, I do like libraries, although I don't really use them very much these days. Hi, kids can borrow only maps at this library. But we're on, yes. Here's a map. No, there's only thing on the map. All the info is there except for the info that isn't there. Pressing the X button allows you to view the map at any time. How convenient. And the X button will be near the top. Haha. <laughs> That's called the town map, okay. Oh, this is just... Okay, so this is the Onet town map. So I guess there's going to be other... T each town presumably has its own map. I don't know if there's going to be a world map in addition to that. Or if it's... Okay, come back in the year 2001 to return it. Come for the big test tomorrow. It's about games. Hotel rule. If you stay at a hotel, you'll wake up with full HP and PP. Life recovery rule. Recovering your life will give you full HP but zero PP. My bad stuff will be on the test. Okay, so this is going to kind of give us some info about the game talking to people here in this library. At Giant Step there's a monster guarding that spot from the outside world. No one knows when the monster made Giant Step its territory. I wonder if he's stronger than my wife. Tucson Food Hotel, Hospital, Shop Food. Okay, we need to find out where Giant Step is. This map doesn't seem to pointed out, but... Man, a few words. It's useless talking to him now. Recent days, since the presence of UFOs flying around. Or am I just dreaming? I mean, either or. Another person not talking. Recently read a book titled Our Convenient Society. So that our modern society demands that there always be an ATM in hotels and drug stores. 
Just knowing that is convenient. I'm glad I read the book. I can't believe I didn't know this stuff. Check whether or not we have an ATM in our drugstore. Alright, what color are satellites? Give me instead of these days. Are always telephones in hotels and drugstores. No, that use the green payphone costs a dollar, while the black phones are free. If you weren't aware of this, all your money could get eaten up by phone calls. I'm glad I read that book. Good to know, good to know. I can't believe I saw it with my own eyes. I was staring out the window and there was... It was, just fluttering there. I'd only seen an encyclopedia before. What was it? Magic butterfly. If you're close to magic butterfly, all your hairs fly away. Just like a fluttering butterfly. Yep, yep. It's the effect of the legendary magic butterfly. I love talking about it. Oops. Sorry about the outburst. Carried away with all the talk of lovely butterflies. Okay, well, what does that mean, all your cares go away? That's what, what I'm not sure about. Research and design steps. Located north and west of Omen. Okay. We possess a special power. Okay, northwest. So. Could be along. If I just continue along this road, I came on. That might be where it goes up to. Maybe not, I don't know for sure. Don't talk to me, I, I'm thinking. Uh, no, I'm in here, don't try to come in, especially if you don't need to use the bathroom. Shabby, not too shabby. What a cute yellow backpack. Should we explore town before we continue onward? I think so. On that town. Your case full of sharks. I can't play there. Can we go run over? Burger shop. Do you think you get more food value than 14 bucks worth of burgers and 8 bucks worth of french fries? I feel better and more energetic if you eat better foods. And you'll recover more health if you eat more expensive food. I'm so much more relaxed here. They never ask me, would you like fries with that shake? Seems like I'm always here. I hope you don't mind. Let me take your order. Smile, smile. What can I get for you? Can of fruit juice, cup of coffee, bag of fries, hamburger, ah, uh, nothing. Have a nice day. Smile, smile. Drugstore. I come in and come in. What can I do for you today? Uh, can I find something? Crack bat. T-ball bat. Yo-yo. Baseball cap, cheap bracelet. We don't have enough money. Do you need anything else? No. Um. Oh, well, there. How many help do you buy? Okay. Can I get anything? Cold remedy. Um. A moment. Woof woof. I'm Rufini the dog. I'm being pressed by the spirit of the game designer. <laughs> Rough. Do you see the window showing HP and PP at the bottom of the screen? Go to a store that has equipable items. This window will either flash, look normal, or become black. If you're allowed to equip an item and it's stronger than your current item, the window will flash. If the power is equal to or less than your current equipped item, the window looks normal. If you can't equip an item, the window is black. What if I thought you'd like to know? Now it's time to become a regular dog again. <laughs> I love that. Okay. So that's... Yeah, so that's what I have. That's flashing. That's flashing. These are all flashing. So these are all things that are gonna be... Um, hey, I know your hard-earned cash is important to you. I should call your mom. She's probably got an ulcer from worrying about you. Pick up the receiver. Uh, is that Eunice? Call me back sooner than I thought. Everyone here is doing just fine. Oh yes, Tracy started working part-time for Scargo Express. Here, I'll let you talk to her. 
Call me when you have some time. Oh, you don't have any free time? Well, here's Tracy. Oh, this is Scargo Express. What do you ask, big bro? It's me, Tracy. Working part time for Scargo Express. What can I do for you? Um, nothing. Come again. Click. Talk to Dad. So yeah, deposit twenty four in your bank account, taking away G's now now hundred in the bank. Well, expect to get to the next level. And that's fifty one. Anyone do it? Cord, yeah. Okay, so now we can withdraw. I assume this is the ATM. I'm gonna have to select a transaction. Uh, withdrawal. Now. Buy this cheap bracelet, we'll only have 20 left. I wish it gave me. I'm gonna look up what exactly each of these things do just so that I have. Um, so, cheap bracelet. Um. Plus five defense. Then we have the base ball cap. Also plus five defense. I think I equip them separately then. So let's get the baseball cap as well. Um, T ball bat and yo yo. Yo yo. Okay, they're universal weapons. Okay, Yo-Yo does plus six. Mm. Oh, but they also lower the accuracy. Okay. Good to know. Where's the T-ball bat? is plus eight. What did I say the yo-yo was? Plus six. So the t-ball bat is better. Save up for the T-ball bat. Thanks a bunch. Okay. Okay, so the bracelet is on the arms, baseball cap is the other. We don't have anything on the body. But all that stuff does also. Does take up space in here. One, two, three, four. It's hard to say for sure, but I think it might be 16 slots in here. Cause this looks like about the halfway point. I'm not I'm not always good at um telling that kind of stuff, but
Both of them are those in your heart. Treat them both nice. What's a beautiful one at the Wildflower of Eagle Land? Currently, Paul lives in Tucson. Her mother runs a preschool out of their home. Can't remember the name of the school, but I heard Paul's really special. Why is she special? I forgot to ask. Oh well. Well, that's, you know, one of our other people that'll. Check the to the east. East is the opposite of west. Okay. And. This is kind of the edge of town. This way and see that guy we talked to already. Net town, net town. You look so helpless. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. When you're in trouble, do you think you would ever like to have a hint? Uh, sure. Why don't you get a hint from the next house? Okay. I gave you a great hint for just thirty-five dollars. Kid, wouldn't you? No. So you're telling me that you don't want a hint? Awfully confident or thirty-five dollars is too much to pay. Anyway, a young man like you is very unusual these days. You need a hint, come on back. I'm here all the time. Okay. You asked my sense of the thought was going to a hideout. Don't know what he was talking about. In this game, we seem to be able to go in like all the houses on like Earthbound Beginnings. Or, not like all of them, we didn't, because we didn't, that last one we couldn't go into. Either go into them or talk to somebody. <laughs> Still, your ex, Accurate, the treasure hunter finally found something interesting. Here, you'll only show it to you. Yeah. Okay, so the button that I can use for checking, I can also use for talking. Sounds out of control. The wild boys are. Hanging out in the town, and the cops have really been cracking down on everyone. They're moving to Tucson, a town in the south. Break the course of violence. Don't break the wind of change. Fresh breeze movement. Okay, pop quiz. Beatles song. Extra day. Can you fill in the blanks? Yes. That's correct. I'm impressed. Okay, pop quiz. Beatles song. Uh. Say something funny. I'll listen. Hmm, I can't wait any longer. I'm going back to watching the news. It's funnier than you. How dare you. Tell Onet. $35 per night for a single room. Well, I don't have any kind of money, but... Our nightly rate is not cheap, but we have clean sheets and the rooms are secure. I'm sure you understand. This keeps us very busy. Whole room just for the ATM. See verse. Okay, so. Good to know that we can find a black phone in the hotel. See you next time. Can we go explore the hotel even though we're not staying here? Believe it? A group of roughly spit their gum at me as I was passing by. So we can't enter the rooms even. Looks like you'd be a real target for the sharks. You better be careful. I'm always careful. Going into you know random hotel rooms. Okay. Now, based on the size of the building, I'd assume this was multiple floors. But apparently, it's just the one. Hey, doggo. 
Oh, don't you think you'll be needing a weapon? You know the drugstore sells things you can use? I knew about A sign. That's City Hall. Because of the Sharks boss hang out near the giant step. Okay, that's good to know. Town Hall. We're really in a foul mood. Why? Because the mayor doesn't like me. Maybe I'll just kick back for a while. It may take me a couple hours to sign this paper. Snicker snort. Oh, aren't you nasty? Is it a school holiday today? Have you done your homework? Remember to brush your teeth before going to bed. You've been wetting your bed? Uh, no. Aren't you stuck? If you want to hit, come and get it. Eagle and hint union. There are a lot of snakes and stray dogs around on it. Is the mayor going to let them just run around doing whatever they want? I'm here to protest. Good luck, buddy. Protesting is an important thing to do, although I'm not sure what the plan is to deal with those things. Uh, the dogs and the snakes. The suspicious looking kids are hanging out in the woods near the library. If they are members of the sharks. It's not fairly gang, someone should put down their gap shut down their gathering places, don't you think? Sort of a movement that will stop all the bad influences of the children of Onet. Call it the fresh breeze movement. Humdy dum. I mean, I'm kind of curious what uh, you're going to be going at. I'm going to for our time and plays at this time. Okay. Did I tell you that I saw a giant ant one time at Giant Step? Oh, sorry. I didn't. I did ant mean to spoil it for you. For City Hall, but somehow Mayor Perkle bugs me. Let's keep this between you and me. Okay, so that's so far two employees of City Hall that have complained about the mayor. Mayor's office is on the second floor. You need an appointment before you visit. I have to stop you if you try to see the mayor. She didn't stop me. Mayor is busting the festival of troubles in town. The sharks and the meteorite. Hey, are you the guy who's trying to re reform the sharks? Waho, waho, waho. Gotta be kidding. Scram. You didn't try to stop me. Somebody else did. I told you so. It wasn't you though that stopped me. It was, I don't know, it was a copper bodyguard or something. I think I talked to you already, right? Yeah. When your friends become unconscious, you should visit them at the hospital. Just check with the nurse reception and she will release your friend. It's a nice thing to remember. It's alright if you forget. This is an interesting house. And yeah, it's an empty house. Look at this one. Move here from the way, way, way away next town. In the next town, there's the, what is the name? Uh, Polar Star Preschool. The preschool's at Paula's house. Paula uses, what is it called? Uh, magic. Good to know. How dare you attack me from behind? Um, I attack one damage. Because I have defensive capabilities now. You won. That's right, I did. Try to sell us the newspaper. Go away. We don't read the paper. We don't want any milk either. Um, okay. See the whole to the east. You know where the sun rises. Pretty sure it's not quite that far to the east. Okay. Are you one of these so-called sharks? The Yes Men Jr. and... Skate Punk. Fiercely on a skateboard, seven damage to Nass. Oh, sigh. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, get rid of the skate punk because he's the one that's calling in reinforcements. No crap! Ah, crap! the battle. Ness, looks like you got your head handed to you. Are we giving you another shot? Yes, Ness. Uh, yeah. Good luck. Okay, we go back to where we last saved, which is the hotel. Did we accomplish anything after that? I can't remember if I used all of my sigh there. Oh, okay, I went down by the... By the hospital part. Do you want to meet our boss Frank? He's in the backyard here. I think of a peace and love. You may want to visit him. Bakery. Tell you the story of the creature from the vegetable soup, but I won't be because I won't bother you with the story. Let me deal with your adventure. If you like what I already said, you may start ignoring four messages. Four for you to talk to people. So first I might give you a different message of hand when you speak to them. May I help you? What shall I get you? Cookie, bread roll, skip sandwich, lucky sandwich. Don't have money. It's like every baking it has been making lucky sandwiches these days. Kind of like fortune cookies, except you can win stuff. Yeah, it's a sandwich, so maybe it's not like a fortune cookie. The best thing about that can happen is recover PP. Just showing me what PP was. Cottage cheese on bread. You haven't tried it? It's the latest craze in culinary circles. I mean, I don't really, you know, pay attention to culinary circles. Police. I'd rather be working as a parking meter cop. It's just been too busy lately. I'm sick of it. And I steam. Don't even try talking to me. As we are in a state of confusion. At times like this, riots break out. People start acting wild. So we please are being ultra cautious. I mean, pst, I'm not really one of the gang. I'm a cop, even if I don't look like it. This is a jail. You guys have no business being here. Yeah, I'm in here. Go find another cat. Ha! Huh, I was just joking. Why is this room just empty? That seems suspicious. Just trying to explore the entire town. Ah, uh, who, who's there? It's creeping here. What do you want to answer? I wonder if Earthbound has been released yet. Um, that's that's what we're in. Let's 
but I'm pretty sure it has. People in that are proud of B.H. Perkle. The mayor's proud of the people who own that. What does the sign say? Don't wander this far away from town. Fresh. Okay. Another guy who stops to read each bulletin he already encounters. He says, Check Rooney, is that you? Okay, so. Okay. Oh, oh. Door's closed again. It's Onet's oh, claim to fame. Door to Tusum is closed. You can't just squeeze through roadblocks either. That's famous for roadblocks. Don't talk to me. I'm on duty. Until I have Jesus Christ's permission, I can't let you through. Hmm, this house we can't even get into. Let's deal with this bird. Spiteful crow. Cookie! And a wild dog, a runaway dog. Ooh, that was instant. Bush Hospital, this hospital can uh, put our life into operating on you. gonna fight this thing, but I guess I will. Yeah, one whole damage. There we go. Red roll. Point overlooking the sea has beautiful steering. over that away. This real place gets me all choked up. Let's go in the hospital. That around here are doctors number one. He he he. Thanks each. Uh, no thanks. They don't need any treatment. All right. I mean, I, I thought I don't need any treatment. Is that I don't have any money. Oh, and you are? Say, have you ever suffered some type of sickness or condition that you couldn't get cured at a hospital? For example, being diamondized, where your head gets as hard as a diamond? A mushroomized, where you have a mushroom on your head? If you ever stuck with these types of embarrassing conditions, we have the magic healing shrine are here to ease your pain. We're ready and waiting in the lobby of hospitals all over the world. For next me is the great teacher of magic healing. You may not believe it, I'm a healer. <laughs> Someone else is coming to treat you at a hospital? It's my job to cure you. Some help? Uh, no. Then come back when necessary. Busy right now. Shall I explain it with the hospital system? Yes. Good for you. It becomes a conscious. The hospital right away. As long as you have money for the doctor's fee, you'll be able to see your friend completely recovered in no time. So as being unconscious, whenever you don't feel so well, come to see a doctor. Everything I just told you applies to hospitals all over the world. No problem here. No. Wait. I'm trying to talk to a doctor. I will talk to this person first. No, not at hospital. I run the place. Ah, oh, gotcha. Sorry. I'm just pacing here. I came to visit my friend at this hospital. I saw slipped and fell in the hallway. So I'm staying in the hospital, too. This could be the basis for a great tragic tear jerger. Well, maybe not. Tombstone blowout sale. We have a special discount for those who have passed on in this hospital. We like written on your tombstone. A net hospital surgery team. I feel like that's a conflict of interest, the surgery team selling tombstones. A smash by a mouse. What, you're here to visit my daughter? So you're the one who calls her in the middle of the night and talks for hours? Oh, it's not you? Why did you come to this room? Because I'm exploring the world around me? Ah, uh, didn't mean 
mean to talk, I would just actually press the button as I was walking by. Okay. Open soon. Mock Pizza Onet Branch. You want to start a fight or what? Okay. Age Escape Punk. Seven damage, twenty damage. Just miss seventeen. There we go. I won. Gain twelve X EXP. I mean, Frank, you, you don't want Frank to beat you up, do you? Interesting. Earlier they had some that ran at me. These ones I have to actually talk to to start a fight. Of HP. It was you. You beat up my buddy, didn't you? You better just beat it. I did. There was a hamburger. Ooh, I level up. I level up by one. IQ by one. Max HP by 12. Max HP. So I do now have 5 PP for my PP going up. Uh, 11 damage. Um, what does a bread roll do? Oh, it's probably just because it, the amount it heals me is probably just more than the damage I had. It's not that it's actually, like, necessarily going to completely fill up my health every time. Oh, this guy I didn't actually fight. Oh, you sound like a real water, don't can you, can you, or I'll kick your butt. I want to play these games. Hey kid, do you want to become a member? Yes. Come back after you finish Earthbound. To tell you the truth, I like drinking tea and eating fresh vegetables, but that doesn't fit my super cool image. So I just have to accept this about myself. An item that should be equipped, do you bother to actually equip it? Uh, I gave a hint to my own enemy. Such a rocking dude. I obviously have total confidence in my own ability. So are you ready to get it on, Spanky? Spanky. Live a spit spit. You want some gum? Get your own. Okay. So this might be the boss. So we are going to um, heal with the bread roll before talking to him. Frank is incredibly powerful. If you get your hands on it, I bet you can stand against any enemy. No, that's just a random kid. Okay. from behind. This man Junior. 10 damage. 11 damage. I did 17. Back up. I was trying to face him. I realized I couldn't get away. Okay. Just missed. 11 damage to miss. Let's go to the skate punk. 10 skate punk. 
first. Okay, we explore this town pretty thoroughly, and we know where we need to go, which is, um... Which is, uh, northwest of town. Food, hospital, hotel, hint, food. I think we are gonna go home first so that we can like fully heal up like not just our um HP but our PP. And then we'll go let's see, yeah, six twenties. Follow the path. Yeah, it's not a long distance, so. Back and bother yourself talking about and eat some steak and scoot up to bed. So fully heal for free. And then I oh, we should actually check because we won a few battles, so that means we're getting money now. I don't want to go anymore. I don't care if everyone thinks I was stubborn in mud. Okay. Can't bring the dog. It's called Dad. 134, yes. Excellent. So then we'll actually go back to the uh, store and uh, buy a better bat. And then with that bat, we'll go to we think is uh, the place we need to go to. Aren't I great with words? Um, which is shop right down this way. T-ball bat. Sure. Um, yeah, so now we're... Now let's actually put our money back that we didn't... Or most of our money back. Because I'm assuming this is the same as Earthbound Beginnings where we lose half of it when we get game over. do that, but I'll
best we can equip from what we've found so far. Excellent. And now onwards and upwards. Following this path. Oh yeah. Yes, I'm doing watch of duty for the hydro. Can you take over? Yes. Just kidding, being watch out is my job. Ha, ah, I noticed this house before. I'll give you my base. My Mr. Baseball cap. I know you've worn it for a long time. It's the best cap for someone really brave like you. It's got the Mr. with you once I become a little stronger. Dream about you and you were traveling with a cute girl. If the dream comes true, say hi to her for me. For all I'm single. Ever since I last saw you, you're beginning to look like a man. You're so cool. I, I think I really like you. Well, you know what I mean. Okay, nice. I got a better hat. Yeah, that's all that's in there. Um... Not your enemy. I'm simply your average run of the mill mole. Like some hints on finding enemies? Yes. Listen carefully. My hand devolves which way you are facing a battle with an enemy curve. If you enemies to twitch from your back or side, they may get a surprise opening attack. If you see this way your TV screen. No, no, no. I mean, the world in front of you will show a red swirl for a second. And if you approach an enemy from the back or side, you may get a surprise opening attack. In case your TV oops again. The world in front of you shows a green swirl. When you try to fight so that you always have the advantage. This game does like its uh, fourth wall breaks. Giant step, north of the top of the mountain. Do not enter. Gage the runaway dog. One HP. Hey, I cannot kill these things in one, or tame these in one attack. It's running away from me. Or flying away as it were. There was a cookie. What well, is. This is just square. Yeah. Right, let's burps. Sure, because ha ha ha. Did I actually explore up there? Not sure. But apparently that's another way of getting around here. Interesting. You won. Well, I didn't even need to... Do that battle. Interesting. I guess if the if you're powerful enough compared to the enemy, then it just auto wins the battle for you. That's neat. Check was locked by someone from City Hall, so we can't use it. The reason it was closed was this punk named Frank may have trashed the place. What a drag. We can't even change our clothes. Hotels are too expensive. Here, there's a big footprint on the hilltop behind this shack. I haven't seen it myself. It's just a rumor. Probably an entertainer's shack. The door is locked. Hmm. 
so what do I do then? Let's go talk to the mayor, I guess. Okay, we're 57. Relax. We're still at 57, so it doesn't do anything with hit points. Maybe it's psychic points that it does something with? Not sure, because mine were already full, so... I'd like to make an appointment with the mayor. Yes, but can I make an appointment? Mm hmm. Hmm. So, what am I supposed to be doing now then? Here, I thought that I had this whole figured out. Um. You'll take out more of the sharks over here. Ah, I just need to fight him. Alright, I just need to say no so that I can then fight him. If, if he does make him go away anyway. It does. Uh, let us... Frank, you are? Come on, can't you at least say your name? Okay. Frank attacked. Fresh knife, 17 damage. 21 damage. Fifty nice experience. That's level now six. Offense up by two. Luck by one. Max HP went up by two. Fail proof Frank can't be beat. Puff puff puff. And this is Frank and Frankie Stein Mark Two. Jolie versus Steam. Through a punch, 16 damage.
33 damage. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Excellent. I won. That one's a bit closer. This is my first defeat. Failed for Frank is now just failure, Frank. I know you've been asking around, so I'll tell you what giant step. It seems to be quite a powerful spot. Kind of special power store there. It's certain people to perform wondrous feats. However, monsters suck all the energy at that spot. It's supposed to get to giant step. That's all I know. Such so as you collect more information on your own. Just the past leaving giant step is behind the touring entertainment shack. Poor called Mayor Wonat has a key to the shack. Now so you've become stronger than I. Your adventure is just beginning. Sorry, your adventure is just beginning. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's go home and heal again and then. Come back and no, I just talk to the mayor first. Yeah, talk to the mayor first, or try to talk to the mayor again. Now that we've defeated Frank, maybe we'll actually be able to get in kind of meeting with the mayor. You beat up the sharks, you're the talk of the town. Mayor Perkle is waiting for you. Excellent. Thank you so much for all of your help. Next election, please give a speech supporting Mayor Perkle. He he he. Hey hey hey, I'm Mayor B.H. Perkle. It's so nice to meet you. Beat up the town bullies, punched them out big time, kicked their butts, bit their heads off, spit in their eyes, and made them wet their pants. And you forced them to promise not to make any more trouble. Thank you. What, you want a key to the touring entertainer shack? For someone as great as you, giving you the key could help keep the town peaceful. Or if you encounter a dangerous situation, please don't ask me to take any responsibility. I'll be able to avoid any responsibility, right? Yes. You're such a smart kid. Here's the key to the shack. That's got the key to the shack. Also, just so you know, I'm going to run against you in the next election. <laughs> Maki. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I don't know what happens in that after this game, or even later in this game. Okay, yeah, but yeah let's go home and save first, because we made some nice progress, and then we'll go and do the thing with the stuff in the place. Snake. You won. So snakes, if we see them, just go and attack them. Dogs like that too. I really like that mechanic that uh, you don't have to do the, the actual battle. Uh, you're back to while yeah. They can scoot up to bed. Let's heal up. Whew. What's my equipment? No, my, my goods like. Was a 163 to your account, taking what you spent, you should now have 263. Next level, uh, 
card. Excellent. Got some decent money building up. We'll let that continue to build up for the moment. I thought I saw a dog, I think, here. Yeah. I keep pressing A because I'm like trying to quickly get through that. But there's not really a lot of text there, so... I don't need to press A as much as I do. Of the fact that I can just go. I'm probably gonna stop like going out of my way. If I went down there, I'm not gonna bother going after, but these ones, I'm going this direction anyway. Because, like, it's not much experience. But there is cookies. Wow, you open the door. All right, here's a trinket for good luck. It's travel charm. Let's get the travel charm. Uh, the big front print is called Giant Staff. What a way cool name. Is that an equipable? Is but it doesn't. I'm gonna look up. Um, travel. Protect from paralysis. Okay. Actually, wait. an option. I can just hit help and then it tells me what it does. Um, travel charm must be equipped on your body. It protects you from paralysis attacks. Okay, there's nothing else I need. To, but I can use that so that I can actually, I don't have to actually look it up online. Some tougher enemies in here than we've been encountering so far. The Rowdy Mouse. So yeah, it heals my PP. I don't know if it heals it completely or just partially. Can I look at the map in here? Interesting. I'm assuming that big cave entrance up top is where I need to go next. But let's explore here. Oh, I didn't even notice. 
pack slug. Three damage, okay. So these things I can take out a single attack, but I guess the whole trick of it is that there's a bunch of them. Ooh, a bomb. Level 7, nice. During battle, because it's supposed to power may affect others besides the target creature. Gone after one use. That makes sense. Oh, there's more. Okay. In that case. I'm actually going to go back and look at this bigger one first. Nice. One shot. Get a smash. Yep, I should have gone in here first. Just the, the black what? Pantoid. 13 damage. The 26. Call for help. Okay. So it takes me two attacks to take one out. But they can call for help, so... It's kind of how it could go on for a while. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, fourteen. Um, I'm gonna use... I think we're going to use, like, all of my cookies, because my inventory is getting a bit on the phone side. I can say, sell my baseball cap next time I'm somewhere where I can do so. Skip sandwich inside. You spring yourself for about 10 seconds while it helps you cover power, power a bit. Oh, more little things. More attack slugs. Yeah, they don't do much, but the fact that there's so many of them means they could get multiple attacks in, so. Does add up a bit. Also, good experience. Oh, just 13. 13 again. Late oh, offense, one up at four, defense, got slot, max, boom, psy rocking. Um, a deadly psy attack which only nuts can use. It's psychokinetic wave generated by concentrate that deals each enemy about 50 points of damage. Cost 20. Okay, okay. Not too shabby. 11 damage. 
one bandage. Okay, let's check this cave before going upwards. Nothing. Okay. So we're going up the rope to continue, so let's see what's in here first. Rowdy Mose and his cohort. Sigh left. Cold remedy inside. I'm assuming that's for if I have um, a catch a cold. You don't say. Ah, crap. I didn't even. Notice those things. One, one, one. I'm only doing one damage each at this point, but it does still add up over time. PP and then times it. Oh, it's seven o'clock, so it's probably a good point to call it. I'll just save and quit. So we'll continue going through that cave next time. So far, this game is much more straightforward and a lot less obtuse than uh, Earthbound Beginnings was. 183, nice. 446 total. Team Army. Well, you should turn off the power instead of just pressing reset. Alright. So I guess it doesn't actually go back to like the title screen or anything when you do that. But I assume... Yeah. I 
I guess we don't really need to save it because it's virtual console, so it does like it'll return us to you know where we were. But I, I prefer to save. Anyway, let's go find somebody to raid. Let us see who is live and who we want to go and raid. So, could Ray somebody playing Mario Kart DS? Could Ray somebody playing. Wait, who is this? Not sure. Uh Oh Hmm. The person's been alive for like eight hours, not sure if there's live, but I wonder if that I just saw somebody that I th they've changed their name, but I think I know who they are. And I haven't seen them streaming in ages. Um but yeah, so yeah, like I said we could raise somebody playing Mario Kart DS. Could raid somebody playing what else? Mm. Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. Um. Could I say playing Epic Chef? It's probably going to be one of those people, so let me know in chat if you have a preference for any of those games I just mentioned. Otherwise, I'll decide myself we're going to go and raid, and yeah. I should be back on Monday, so no stream tomorrow, no stream Sunday. But then, yeah, next week, um, standard uh, stream schedule with Animal Crossing. Weekday streams start with Animal Crossing at 3 p.m. Central Standard Time, followed by another game that differs from the day, with Monday being uh, more Pikmin 4, Tuesday, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, Wednesday, Star Wars, Nice Little Republic 2, The Sith Lords, Thursday, Metro A Prime, and Friday, Earthbound. And that is the schedule for the next week. And since somebody has a preference as to who we go and write, I think we're going to go and raid um, Axeman, who is playing Mario Kart uh, DS. Uh, so we are going to head over there. If y'all want to join me on the raid copy and paste the raid message and join another raid and yeah and uh thanks to everyone for coming out today uh those who chatted those who just lurked you're all wonderful people thank you for hanging out it's been a blast and i will see you all later just make sure i've copied the raid message and bye <laughs>